So let's do uh, kind of a basic one right now, uh, <clears throat> but still a little bit different from the other day. We want to look at the area bounded between the curve f of x is equal to negative x squared plus 16, and uh, bound by the x-axis and the y-axis. So, what does a graph negative x squared plus 16 look like? Up, up at 16, and it's going to cross, if you solve for it, it's going to cross through 4. And notice that the problem says that we're looking for the area bounded between all these things. The y-axis, the x-axis, and the curve. Okay. Oh, we'll get there. Don't worry about the top yet. We'll get there in a second. So we want to divide this into two rectangles. So I take this interval. I divide it in half. Okay. And then what I'm going to choose to do, this is my choice at this time. Now we'll do something different. I'm going to choose to look at the right-hand side of that interval. What's the right-hand side of this interval? Two. Draw the arrow up till I hit the height of the function, and I draw it over so it covers the rest of my interval. Some people are still having struggles kind of drawing the shapes. Okay, right on cue. Okay, so the next one would be well, I would start drawing at what? Four, and what's the height at four? Zero, so it's just flat. Remember from Tuesday, we used this formula. We said we're going to take the width times the sum of the heights. The width of each rectangle is 2. What's the height at 2? Well, if you take 2, you square it, make it negative, and add 16. What's the height at 4? We get 24. Is that an underestimation or overestimation overall height? It's very low estimation. Yep, under. So we'll do it again. We'll do four rectangles. What's the width of each interval going to be? So I'm going to draw, for the first interval, where do I draw the height from? Do I draw the height from 0 or from 1? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the widths, which is 1, multiply it by the sum of the heights. What's the height of the first rectangle? 15. What's the height of the second rectangle? What's the height of the third rectangle? Fourth rectangle? It's a much better estimation, right? So, now I'm going to teach you how to do it using technology. So make sure you have your calculators out. And uh, I'm going to have you do a couple by hand today. I'm going to have you also use your calculator, okay? Then tomorrow, so everything we're doing right now is what we refer to as right-hand sum. We're always using, we're always moving to the right-hand side of the interval. Tomorrow I'll teach you how to do left-hand sum, teach you how to do midpoint sum, teach you how to do trapezoidal sum. It'll, all be, it'll be wonderful. Okay, but eight rectangles, what we need to do is this, is we need to come up with the width. If we have eight rectangles, what's going to be the width? And here's how you got it. You took the end point of your interval minus the beginning of your interval, and you divided it by the number of rectangles, which was 0.5.
Please follow this very closely. We are going to use this formula right here. This is what you'll type in your calculator. Okay. We're going to type in the width, which is 0.5. times the sum of the sequence. Let's do it. Okay. 0.5. If you want sum, can I go second catalog? How do I get to the S's? Press S. I mean, you only need to press alpha. You just press S. I press T. It's so close. And I get to some. We'll pick up where you guys get back. Yeah. So, uh, come on, turn on. Nice. Okay, so let's uh, type this in. Uh, we'll go 0.5 times sum, and if you go second catalog and hit S for sum by T, then I just have to go up one and I'm right at sum. I just gotta scroll, scroll down to get it. Then you go sequence, so second catalog. You wanna grab the smaller case one. Sequence, one is a parenthesis. <laughs> what? Okay, now hold on. You got two options. You can either just type in the function or you can type the function into y equals and then enter the y1 variable. It doesn't matter. What would you rather do? Okay, let's just type it in. So you go negative x squared plus 16 so it, it, I, I know you just want to type it in but hold on you got to understand what you're doing here okay you got to understand what you're doing okay what we're trying to do is we're tr trying to take the width times the sum of the heights so it says the width is 0.5 times the sum and now we're trying to generate all the heights so we want you to tell your calculator to evaluate the heights in a certain spot. So think about it here. What was the first spot we evaluated the height? What's going to be the first spot we're going to evaluate the height here? 0.5. So what we tell our calculator is, first of all, we say you're going to evaluate it for x. So everything we type in after here, you're going to plug in for the x variable up there. Comma. Yeah, I don't know why that was there. Then what we do is we put the beginning. So we say, all right, so here's where you're going to evaluate the first height. You guys said you're going to evaluate the first height at one half. 0.5. Your last height is going to be at 4, so the ending. So here's what you're telling your calculator. And then what's the width? 0.5. So what you're telling your calculator is plug 0.5 in for x into this function, see what you get, and then add it to whatever the next one is. So after 0.5, what would it plug in? It would go over a half. You're telling it to go over a half to 1. And then go over a half to 1 and a half. Then go over a half to do that until you get to four and then stop. That's what you're telling your calculator to do. Press enter, 38.5. Well, I'll, I'll show you, we'll do it again, okay? One more time, then I'm gonna allow you to work. 
to 100 rectangles. So, what we do is we got to find the width. What's the width? You take the, the length of the interval. What's the length of the interval? Four. So you take four minus zero, the end minus the beginning, and divide it by 100. 0 0.04. So here's what we're going to type in. 0 0.04 times the sum of the sequence of negative x squared plus 16. What's the variable that we're using? X. What's the first spot that we evaluate the height? 0 0.04. What's the last spot we evaluate the height? Or, and what's the width? That, that's what we increase by each time. So I'm going to type that in. So again, 0 0.04 times, I go second catalog, and Ashwin, instead of just scrolling down, I can press S for sum. I'm going to press T because sum is right above the T. Enter. Second, catalog, S for sum. And I go down to sequence. Negative X squared plus 16, comma X, comma 0.04 comma 4, comma 0 0.04, Is that pretty close? You would think it's pretty close. Uh, hold on, Scott. I did try typing in a thousand and uh, the calculator uh, blew up, so. so I wouldn't do it. I don't know why. Yeah. Okay. Here's your assignment. I want you to do problems three and four. If you don't know, like, for example, this one crossed at four can't figure out where, where these cross, you can go ahead and look at your calculator. I want you to do the first set by hand. So do the four rectangles, the three rectangles by hand. Then, I don't care what you do after that, you can use your calculator or do it by hand. Okay? But I would also like you to add a hundred there. I, want, I would like you to do a hundred rectangles. So a hand, either, either, and obviously you know you're going to do 100 using your calculator. So. Got it? All right, Scott's got the question. 